Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, I was just looking around because I'm not quite sure what to do next. Ah, oh, come on. The game is so laggy. My computer is so gone. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. We can go to different places right away, like the prison, half flash of heaven, the inn, to the street, prison, barracks, area exit. Let's go to the barracks next. <sighs> Don't know what we can do there, but anyway. Let's keep going. Is there anyone here? Hmm, at least we've got Elon of the Hound Hearts. Ah, this guy. Wasn't he the guy who abandoned us before and then came back to help us? There's an outside. They're also down. Right? Ah, there's also an house outside, but it's there. Let's go there, wherever this will be. I really don't know what to do next. Um, Probably have to run around and kill some more of the demon armies. Um, as the last time I played was weeks ago. I'm kind of... Ooh, there is a person who has some problem. Because we see if they are not lost or they did something in their past. Commander. An aged dark skin Burundi man with sharp features addresses you with a confident salute. Instead of hair, his head is covered in sparkling crystals, clearly identifying him as an Oriad. Captain Harmatham, at your service. What are your responsibilities in my army? Enlisting, screening, and training recruits. Furthermore, by Her Majesty's order, I was appointed as the chair of your staff count. Ah, okay. as he mentions Gelfry, his voice assumed a tone of deference and reserved pride. Tell me, Captain, what does the Staff Council do? In short, we make sure that whenever orders are given, they are executed properly. Our job is to keep the soldiers morale high, so they always follow their officers' commands without questions. As for the officers themselves, we look out for any unseemly or incompetent types who subvert the troops. Uh, tell me about your... S I will report any staff-related issues to you. Okay. Affirmative. I hail from... Osirian. Whatever Osirian is, one of the first civilizations to rise in the wake of the Earthfall. Osirian is also one of the greatest empires in the history of Golarion. A nation of great knowledge, wealth and power. Its ancient land harbors pyramids, mummies, terrible curses and endless sand. So it's Egypt. As well as a culture steeped in proud traditions. Yeah, yeah, whatever. My parents were caravanners. Yeah, Egypt. They knew the entire length and breadth of the desert. Fearing to heat first, fearing no heat first or wind. They told me that I was born after they miraculously survived the fierce sandstorm, one that raged for five days, locking the sun out of the sky. 
We call sandstorms like those harmatons. I don't know if that made me the way I am, but I do know that they named me after that sandstorm. Okay. I didn't follow in my parents' footsteps. In truth, I feel uneasy in the desert. Well, probably because your parents nearly died before you were born in a sandstorm. Among the dunes, I feel like I'm trudging through a swamp instead. I enlisted in the army of his majesty, Kemet the first. He had just ascended the throne after throwing off the Kanashite yoke and returning Osirium into its independence. So, okay. I soldiered in the infantry for exactly 100 years. I saw and shed no shortage of blood, both mine and that of others. In other words, I performed my duty to my homeland. But the older I got, the older I got, the older I got, the stronger the neg and nagging voice in my heart grew. It kept telling me that I was not fighting as I should have been, homeland or not. There was a war in this world that meant more than all the others. I went to a temple of Ra, well, more Egypt, made my sacrifice and prayed, O King of the Heavens, set me on my path. That same night I had a dream. I was a sandstorm flying above endless lands, as if I had falcon's wings. Over the desert, the sea and the forests, right towards the world wood, my god had shown me the path that was clear as day. I resigned and left for a faraway Mandev. For two dozen, dozen years I had served Her Majesty Galfrey. I'd served Her Majesty Galfrey, had a good taste of the abyss. Then that whole disaster in Canabras occurred and the Queen called for a new crew. And here I am, fighting under my com under your command. Okay. Can't we talk to him about this thing? I have to go. Or did we do this? I served the fifth crusade. Okay. To back to the barracks. Back to the barracks. Okay. Is there anything else there? No. It isn't. So let's go down. Again. Let's go down again. Ooh, we're somewhere else now, aren't we? No, it's just... Just turned in another direction. Praise the commander. Okay. He wasn't here before. Interesting. Let's move outside. Ah, this is terrible. I really have to do something about the performance of my computer. Where am I? Oh my gosh. This is somewhere else. Um. Okay, another new direction. So if we go there, we really get outside. <laughs> Be nice. Oh, yeah, we're now outside. Truly outside recruits, crusaders. More crusaders, recruits. What's that? Uh, hmm. God, God. 
Let's focus on him. Hello? So, what do you reckon about everything that's come crashing down on us? All the responsibility, command, this new power? Okay. This is what I was born. I haven't figured it out yet. We'll see what happens next. It's a little overwhelming, to be honest. Okay, let's Watching do this. Watching and waiting is a good strategy. Probably. Yeah, so she wouldn't I'm do it. I'm still frightened by what happened in the Grey Garrison. Were we really chosen by Iomade herself? No. <laughs> you know, back when I was a snot-nosed kid who just started down the path to becoming a paladin, I imagined once or twice that I was going to do something heroic. The lights would shine down on me, the trumpets would sing, I'd hear the voice of the goddess, or at least her herald, you know? I'd be informed that I had been chosen for a great cause. But that's the point where my imagination always failed me. Okay. Somehow, it really happened. Without all the trumpets, or the herald, or even anyone explaining what I had to do. Though it's clear as day, my place is here, in this demon-ridden wound. Quite a lovely war going on, in fact. Endless, I hear. I'm gonna need some time to wrap my head around this. <laughs> well, spare me an hour and I'll crawl into some dark corner and whine about my hard lot. What can I tell you? I cry easily. Okay. The fate of the League of the Cod affected you greatly. Oh, so this you don't read anymore. So you could say, I did what I thought was right. I tried to help a good person with their trouble. And what came of it? I'm sorry, but I won't find peace until I track down Curl and Janna. Ah, so these two went missing, not the guy inside the barracks. What were they thinking? Is there any way to get through to them? Or should I just admit I was terribly wrong? There's another thing that's worrying me. The way people react to your power and mine. They think that if we've been chosen by Iomeda, Iomeda, they need to pray at our feet. I'm not comfortable with the younger warriors hanging on my every word. I feel alone. Nobody else is going to sit with me and celebrate saving a beer cart. And I'd like to regain, if not friendship, at least the trust of the other knights. Especially those I respect and consider my friends, like Elon. Ah, uh, I think we should go... Oh no. Let's... Yeah. <laughs> you, should, you should even be more, more lonely now. <laughs> See you. Okay, that's... Let's move out. Oh, where are we here? Oh, there's the outside. Really? Ah, so we're going in this direction. There is Arsino. Whoever Arsino is, do I know her? Who is she? Not sure. Pest. There is Arsino. Who is Arsino? Did I ever talk to her? A woman in gold embroidered cleric's robe greets you with a bright bow. Her eyes, the color of molten gold, gleam brightly in the dark. Greetings, Commander. Ah, I don't know. My name is Arsino. I'm a messenger from the Temple of Abadar in Absalom, and I came here assuming the defenders of the fortress could use the service of a cleric. Okay, perhaps you've heard <clears throat> about the wound that sometimes opens in my chest. Are you familiar with this kind of moment? I could use the help of a cleric. 
You are a priestess of Abadar and a proponent of order in all things. Tell me, what do you think of my leadership state? What services do you provide? Okay, let's ask her about the first thing. Uh, quickly probes you with the skill of an experienced healer. So the wound was right here, and then it disappeared and reappeared. Amazing. No, this is the first time I've ever heard of such magic. What do you think it might be? I think it is some kind of demonic corruption or particles of chaos from the abyss have entered through the wound into your body and made it so unstable. It sounds quite interesting, incidentally. Judging from the records of researchers of the abyss, stranger things have happened in this cursed place. Can you give me some advice on how to heal it? I am sure that you have already used the purification and chaos wording spells, and for obvious reasons you do not have the option of leaving the campaign and going on a long pilgrimage to various shrines. Since that's the case, keep a diary, make careful and systematic entries about your well-being. If it gets worse, record the circumstances under which it happens. I'm afraid this is the only advice I can offer right now. It's like a diary when stopping to smoke. <laughs> Want you to try to heal me? Thank you. That makes sense to me now. Really? Does it? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do not have the right to do that. A healer who makes a blind attempt to heal a patient? Really? Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> You're a priestess of Avatar and apparently I am not, whatever. With pleasure, I have not seen a place calmer or better organized than present for some time. The wound, evil and chaos, are outside its walls. But there is peace order within the fortress. Everyone carries out their duties. No one is idle or lazy. And our warriors are doing their utmost to expedite our victory. I'm happy to be here, to say the least. What services do you provide? I can tell you various divine spell crawls. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And she can heal me, probably. To use a scroll or while you're on the move, you'll need a spellcaster's magic of training covers such spells or one's skill in magic devices. Tell me more about Avatar. I'd be delighted to. Avatar is the patron of the law, trade, and charity of cities. He teaches the, that law and order allows civilization to develop and keep people safe and wealthy. Iomide but are our allies, since Iomide also holds order and nobility above all else. It's hardly surprising to see so many mighty fortresses in the end of whom under her blessing. <clears throat> okay, you're in Azimar, if I'm not mistaken. No. How did you end up in Dresden? My story has grown longer and longer over the years, yet, sadly, it never gets any more interesting. I was born and raised in it. Soon I realized that bringing the word of Avatar to places where it's already been heard was too easy a challenge for Eric like me. I have traveled all across Galarian. Since then, watching civilization bring enlightenment to the wildest of places. This brings joy to my heart and makes me feel like I serve my God with my deeds, and not only with my words. Okay. Therefore you are here now. The tiny barony in the stolen lands that had been my home for a very long time eventually turned into a strong and prosperous kingdom. Oh, wait. Arsino? Was she in Pathfinder Kingmaker? I can't remember her. But she probably was there. Hmm. 
will have, take quite a long time for Crescent to recover and become an unfailing stronghold. Once again, I will do my very best to help. You're an Azimar, if it, if I'm not a... Oh yes, I'm an Azimar. Hard to miss, isn't it? I look exactly like my great-great-grandmother, but I am the only one among my kin to have Azimar blood manifest so visibly in my appearance. I have to admit that it is a very fortunate coincidence. My Azimar features are rather appealing and make people trust me easily. This is a good quality to have for priests wishing to have a congregation. Okay, so we have an Abada temple. So I have, and before you ask me why I did this when there is a temple of Aimee, I will answer. Even though my god is the ally, ally of the inheritor, some still prefer to pray and trust in Abada instead of her. After all, my humble altar is not no worse at removing the corruption of the abyss a grandiose altar in the temple of Aimee. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, let's sell stuff because we have more stuff than we need. Keep the dagger. Not sure. What bow do you have? Probably low. Okay. Plus two. Oh wait, what's that? At the four for me dagger. We'll keep the daggers because we hope to find Wolchiff again. We probably will find him again. Affirmative cultist have a shield. Sila, what do you have for the divine protector? Probably it's better. And this one was, yeah, okay. Let's sell it. Give all these things into our treasure chest, wherever it is. Crusade Chronicles and the Adventures of Grim the Crusader. Well, we don't read them. Let's sell this stuff. Things, map. <sighs> What's the barracks? Barracks, barracks. That's just the house. X. And the building. Other house. What's this? That's the temple. Let's move into. Let's look at that stuff and then stop for the day. Okay. A lot of people there. That's the temple. This place has been sanctified. You can protect the area around it from the corruption of the abyss. Okay.
-hmm. No hidden entrance anymore. I have a book, History of the World Wound. So that's nice. Now there are no traps anymore here. I'll go ahead. Last time we were here, we were nearly killed by the traps. Okay, nothing inside here. Then let's move out again. No one really there. <laughs> Let's move outside. Okay, I think that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, it wasn't too interesting today. But anyway, we'll see each other again. Next time we will do some more traveling outside the area. And let's see what works. What's this? This is the ah, this is the shrine of Avatar, probably. This place has been sanctified. It can protect the area around it. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay, my dear friends. See you. Bye.